everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, I really don't have much to say, so I think we're just gonna jump right into the video. So don't forget to subscribe and like and share and all that good jazz. Um, yeah, but this is a look. If you like what you see, then just keep watching. Thank you so much, I love you. We're gonna start this off using Jouer Cosmetics Anti-Blemish Matte Primer. This is kind of like Too Faced um, Hangover RX. This is just, I feel like it's better for your skin. So I put this all over my face and then I follow it up with Myriad's um, Invisibler. And this one I use basically in my T-zone area to help out with the um, pores. And to prime my under eyes, I've been using this little sample version of the Smashbox Photo Finish Hydrating Under Eye Primer, which I have been loving and will be purchasing. Um, for a foundation, I'm using LC Cosmetics, the Micro Silk Foundation. I am in the color Sand. Um, and I'm just going to dot this all over my face and apply it with a damp beauty blender. For a concealer, I've been mixing two of them lately. Um, the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color Custard, just in the inner corners. And then using the new um, Urban Decay, which I have actually been loving. I forget what it's called exactly, but I believe my color is light neutral. And I'm placing this around the areas and also in the places I'd like to highlight, which is the forehead, the bridge of my nose, and a little bit on my chin. The birds have just begun. We will always take. And as always, going to take a damp beauty blender and blend that out. And to set or bake a little bit, I'll be using Laura Mercier's Translucent Powder and the Makeup um, Bullet. First, I just make sure that there's no creases under my eyes, and then I go ahead and grab the powder and place where I'd like to place, which is the under eye, uh, the forehead, the chin, and a little bit on the bridge of my nose as well. And just to set the rest of my face, I'm going to be using this stippling brush from Morphe Brushes and the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium. And to bronze up the face, I'm using another MAC product. It's just a bronzing powder with an IT Cosmetics um, Duo Ended brush, which I've been loving. I'm just going to put that on the hollows of my cheeks, a little bit around the forehead. Underneath my nose, not my nose, underneath my chin, and then just contour my nose a little bit with the other end of the brush. And for the blush, I am not sure what color this is, but I'll make sure to put it in the description box down below, but applying this with this awesome NARS brush. And I always love just to dust off any excess and kind of blend away anything. And now for my brows, as always, I'm using the Anastasia of Beverly Hills Brow Wiz, and I've been mixing dark brown and medium brown. So I'll start with the dark brown underneath to line the underneath of my eyebrow and then I'll go in with medium brown and do the top and kind of fill in any sparse areas. I think I was so excited that I totally forgot to prime my eyes. So I'll just be going in with Too Faced, a natural matte palette and just grabbing those um, shadows that I was pointing to and just kind of mixing them, running them in the crease area. And now I'm going to grab Matte Sing, I believe is what it's called, from the Meet Matte Nude from The Balm. 
And now I'm going to grab um, Anastasia Beverly Hills new fall shadow, uh, the single shadows. This is in Macaroon and organized in my lovely Z palette. But first I started off with a regular uh, brush and then I moved to a MAC synthetic brush. I just felt like that uh, helped me apply it better. The birds have just begun. We will always take a step. And to add a little depth in the crease, I'm going to grab another new color from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I believe you pronounce that saying aubergine, but once again, I'll have everything listed down below in the description box. And next I'll be lining my eyes with Maybelline's Black Gel Liner and a Morphe Angled um, Eyeliner Brush. I'm placing MAC Cosmetics Eye Pencil in Smolder in my waterline and then smudging it out with a pencil brush. And I'll be grabbing the same dark colors that I placed up top and we'll be smoking out the bottom lash line. Next I'm grabbing my most favorite floof from MAC Cosmetics and placing that in the tear duct just to brighten them up and open up the eyes. And then I decided to highlight the brow bone. This is MAC Cosmetics Shroom. Just a little shimmer up there will uh, help this kind of pop. For mascara, I'll be using a new Lancome mascara for the top. I'll name it down below. I forgot the exact name. And also for the bottom lashes, I'll be using MAC's Giga Black Lash. We must never stop the and now to apply velour lashes in fluff and wispy these have got to be my most favorite lashes of time right now they're just amazing And now for my new favorite part of this whole process is the highlighting. I'm using Benefits Girl Meets Pearl first as a base and then I'll be going in with Becca Cosmetics in Moonstone to highlight the tops of my cheekbones, uh, the cupid's bow and a little bit on the bridge of my nose. And once again, I just like to dust a brush over everything just to kind of blend it together so there's no harsh lines. And for my lips, I'll be using Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Veronica. I think I could have chosen a better color, but at the moment, I just this is what I grabbed. Although I love this color, I kind of don't think it goes with this eye. So by all means, change it up and use whatever it is that you'd like. And this, my dear friends, concludes this look. I hope you enjoyed it so, so much, and I hope to see you again on my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, and follow me on all social medias. I'll see you in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.